Hi everyone, it's the 27th of March and it's uh, about 11 o'clock. It's a Wednesday evening and uh, I went into a charity shop today and bought something for just £5 and we're going to have a look at its contents because I've only opened like four or five drawers and there's a lot of drawers on this so I'm just going to pan you around. Yeah, one of these uh, um, organizer things. We'll zoom in a little. I just think I'll be better off with my screen flipped out. Yeah, my t-shirt's filthy. I've been uh, fitting leaf spring to a escort van. Actually, I think what I'll do, I'll leave it somewhere there and I'll bring the trays to the camera. That would be the easiest option. Yeah, this whole thing, I want to use it to organize my Lego a bit more. So that's why I bought it, but it, there is things in each and every drawer. Like I said, I've, well actually that one's an empty one. That's, some of these drawers are not even the right drawers. That's not the right one. That's not the right one. In fact, that goes all the way through because it's not the right one. Um, so what I'm going to do is we'll go through them. Like I said, I'll bring them over to the camera so you can see what's in them. And... Uh, I'm basically going to chuck the contents in a cardboard box which is here just off camera and I've got a drink as well because I actually find doing videos like this where I'm going to be talking for a while my throat gets kind of dry and then my voice gets a bit croaky anyway we'll start with this one what we got we have batteries and fuses now I may actually uh, leave these in here because um, I do actually have a thing for fuses over there. I don't actually need any more fuses. So, I've got a better idea. Hang on. You're talking to my mouth and not the rest of me. So, I'm actually going to leave that one there. So, we've got a double A and three triple A's. I'm pretty certain, though, actually. I'm 100% certain this one, that's gone. In fact, it's leaked so much, it's peeling the... Um, outer foot yeah you can see that it's linked so that one goes straight in the bin <clears throat> I'm gonna test the other ones just out of curiosity <laughs> right so what we got in the next one we have ooh, a few picture hooks some connector blocks and oh I think these go in like cabinets and you can set shelves on them, like little brackets for the shelves. Um, that's what they look like. So, in the box it goes. A little bit of a bend in there, haven't I? Oh well. Who are? Uh, what have we got in here? Um, just that. It's um, a curtain pole hook. You put this bit on the wall and then the pole sits in here. Yeah, and there's a little uh, screw hole under there that you can put a little screw in and that holds the pole in place. So, chuck that in there. Ooh, that was a horrible noise. Might actually have to straighten this top. Right, what have we got in this one? So, we have in this one five fluorescent light starters, an allen key, two allen keys, three allen keys, and a punch. So, in the box, they, are these all the same? I'm take the starters. See, three allen keys. By the way, like I, I think I've already said it I've only looked in like a half a dozen of these drawers so I don't know what's in every drawer oh, it's this 16 70 75 and 85 watts so that's for larger tubes that one that's 4 to 80 watts and that does a larger range uh, 4 to 80 watts the same brand actually what is it oh Newlec that is a name I have not heard for a while. Um, that's a new Lex. Oh, they're all new Lex. Apart from that one Phillips. 
Now these are all Nulek 4 to 80 watts and they actually look brand spanking new, I don't think they've been used. But yeah, when I was in high school I did work experience for an electrician and they used to use Nulek, so I haven't actually seen that name for a very long time. Right, that one's empty. And here, we have just got a couple of batteries. It's an Asda Smart Price, but I can see that's late, so let's go straight in the bin. That, however, is a rechargeable one. I don't know if it's any good, I'll put it in the charger. If it charges, great. If it doesn't, it just goes in the bin. <laughs> what have we got now? Oh, I've got a pair of them. And some muck. I'm going to the floor be swept up there. So I've got another curtain pole there. Um, curtain pole bracket. Ooh. What have we got here then? This looks like a very old electrical connector of some sort. I say very old because this looks and feels like Bakelite, which is a type of plastic. It is. It's a two-pin connector. It's got something written on it. I can't read it and I don't think I've got a magnifying glass in here. But yeah, that is a very old-fashioned Connect, um, electrical connector. Personally, I don't think I would use this for electrics. I mean, look at the wire. It's like speaker wire. But that's what it was like many years ago. Could even be a speaker connector, you know, for um, an extension maybe. I don't know. Oh, I've got loads of these. I'm not even sure I want to keep that. What's this? Ooh. Little mini screwdrivers. They actually look like just the ones that you used to get in Christmas crackers. And they've got a couple of screws. And just some sort of weird metal plate. The aim is not to sort this. The aim is to, well, unless there is something knackered like a battery. It's just to chuck it in there and sort it later. Right. And what we got there, we have... Some self-tapping screws. They actually look like they're knackered, but they've got a nut on the head as well as the Phillips bit. The Phillips bit looks knackered. You can see it's a bit worn. But I suppose you could still use a socket on there and drive it in with an, you know, an electric screwdriver. Put that in there. What have we got the next one? We have some screws and some big bolts and plugs. I don't really need screws because I've got a big old box of them, but they might as well go in there with the others. Push this one from the back. What have we got in here? Some sort of strapping material. I'm not sure what that would be for. We've got some sort of screws here. Probably got nuts that will fit those, so in they go. There's something electrical in this one. What we got? We have a straight through connector. Okay, so it's got three core that side and two core that side. And this is, who's it made by? Made in England, so it's quite old. No, I can't quite read it. We have another new leg start. Let me guess. A 4 to 80 watt? Yep. And what appears to be just a, a little washer. So nothing really interesting. Right, what we got the third row down? We have wall plugs. How interesting. We have I have no idea. That's all that's in this tray. Oh, cable ties. Oh, I'll definitely um, 
Actually, no, I won't. I've got plenty uh, laying around to use. What we got on this one? We have some very long screws. One of them's got a hex or an Allen head on it. There's that big gold one right there. We've got three big screws and we've got a square nut in there, but I presume there are supposed to be more and they fall now. Uh, <clears throat> random self tapping screw and a drill bit, which does actually look to be a good one. We just stuck it in the side of the cardboard, so yes, it is a good one. <laughs> what have we got on this one? I have absolutely no idea what these are. Clips for something. Uh, some small self tappers, a nut, and a bunch of these um, brass hooks, if they're actual brass. In they go. More wall plugs and Some very short lengths of thread, threaded barn. Yeah, well, uh, about half a dozen of those. That's about it. Oh, and there's a little wooden dowel in there as well. What we got in here? We have what looks to be a brand new lamp holder for a table lamp. It's got the uh, built-in switch, so I could make up my own little table lamp with that. That does actually look brand new as well. What have we got in here? We have a Samsung mobile phone headset, hands free set for an old mobile phone. You wouldn't use it this one, well, I'll tell it's an old one because it's got that old connector on it. I don't know if I've actually got a Samsung phone though. What have we got there? Oh, a little bag thing with a couple of dowels. Ooh. Ooh. That may go down to mums because I do not have that style of hexagon key in that size. But I do have quite a few in that, of that size. So I'm going to keep that one to one side. I've got a feeling that's um, a six mil and a, you know, look a bit small for a five. That five and a four maybe doesn't actually say I don't think. No, actually according to this that could be a five and a six. It's got M5 dash M6. So it could be a five and a six. I'll find out when I get home. Right, what row was that? That's the fourth row, wasn't it? So we're on the fifth row. Right, that's empty, that's empty, that's empty. What we are? Chuck key. I do have a um, drill press in my shed at Mum's, so that'll be handy. What we got? An empty tube of Wilco um, puncture repair glue bin. Got what looks like another six mil hexagon key, and just a couple of random screws. So that's row one, two, three, four, five. Let's go for row six. What have we got in? I don't know what that is. It's got thread in each end. And there's um, a load of these in here as well. It's all look like some brass items. There's some screws. So out of curiosity, okay, screws fit that. Just at a loss as to what it is. There's some more here, but they're not pinned together like this one. And I can't see no pins in here to do. Oh, I have found a screw that's for like light switches and sockets to fix them to the wall. And I'll just give you a little view so you can see. 
Yeah, uh, just a load of little brass bits and bobs. I'm not really sure what they are. All right. Oh, really? Start a fuse. Four to eighty watt. Four foot tube. Ah, woo, this store is no longer there. That's um, a bit of local history there. <laughs> K Hardware. Oh, actually, that store might still be there. I might be thinking, yeah. Sorry, that store is still there. I was thinking of another one. There you go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? I don't believe it. There's a bit of Lego. <laughs> you find Lego in some really weird places. Ah, a bit of thread for lamps. So it's got a little plastic insert in there to protect the cable. I don't think that will go in the bottom of the lamp holder though. Yes, it will actually. Well, that's one option if it screws in. Uh, A little gland for something, possibly a lamp holder. I think that's what that is, just bits and bobs for lamps. These look like covers that go over little button switches or something. And then there's a really crappy screwdriver. I'm not even going to ascertain that screwdriver actually. And go straight in the bin. Right, what have we got in this one? Ah, that will be useful. So we've got a bolt. A very short bit of thread on the end. Although, that might actually be, I suppose, for like an RC controller, maybe. Basically the same sort of antenna anyway. Right, next. Ah, brass cupboard handles. Look at these. If they're genuine brass, they might not be, but they look it. And the way they've, um, you know, discoloured suggests to me it is brass. But I'm not a metal expert. But there is four. There's eight. And there you go. Next, Ooh, hello. biggest rechargeable battery yet. It's a NICAD RX14. It'd be great if I could find another one of those. And some of these brackets, which I actually have quite a lot of anyway. And again, some more random screws. So, we are actually at the halfway point here. What we got in here? We have got what look like some sort of hooks. Uh, no idea what that is. We've got a big random bolt. Small hinge. Whoever donated this must have been um, a bit of a hobbyist, I'm, ex I'm thinking. A bit of a DIYer. Got this tiny little hinge there. We've got another little wooden dowel. And, uh, that's the bit that interested me. Don't know what that is. Any ideas? Possibly part of a toy looking at that end? That's what I'm thinking it is. It looks like a bit of a toy. Anyway, these look to be... Some more various hooks, see? And in here we've got this style of hook. Not bad pickings, is it? What have we got? We've got another hands-free kit here. What was this one for? I don't know. 
So it's saying the plug now, it's got a number on it though. Uh, made in China. It's no branded, but does anyone recognise that plug? May have a phone, this will fit. I might not. <laughs> what else we got? A little empty pink Ziploc bag. What's this? Marbo 10 plug fuse. This must be old because Roy's hasn't sold anything like that. That's a local DIY store or home store, department store, whatever you want to call it. But these are plug fuses. Yep. Well, fuses have been used because there's only four in there now and there should be ten. So. <laughs> how old that actually is because I can't remember the last time um, you could buy things like that in a cardboard box and that is a very old roasting how much was it just out of curiosity one pound twenty for ten fuses right we have a little um, CR2032 button cell to be tested and again, just some more random screws and things. Oh, it's a magnet. Bye. <laughs> Alright, next row. What have we got? Oh, well that was interesting. We have a screwdriver. And oddly enough, I've already got one exactly like that. So I don't know how well you can see that, but that is just a bag of some random metal clips. Uh, nuts and some screws. But it doesn't look like those nuts will go on those screws because the threading is different. I'll keep those in the bag. It just saves having everything everywhere. B3 cap 20-100 white decorative screw caps. I'm also thinking that this person might have liked um, perhaps making up furniture and things. There's, there's some various furniture type items in here. You know, because you would use white caps to make things look a bit nicer, make the finish look nicer. What have we got in here? We have... You're a universal power supply connector. We have brass shoe rivets. Shall I take up cobbling? And four decent length uh, Phillips screws. That's that drawer. Next, what we've got in here? Ooh. We have two bags and they've both got a strap. <clears throat> See, grey strap, a wall plug screw and two washers. So it's got Butel 5 written on the bottom of that one. Other than that, there's no other markings or anything. They're both exactly the same. Not a clue. A strap for something, I'm presuming. Found some more duff as the batteries. Yep, that one's been leaking. That one hasn't, so I'm going to test that one because I'm curious. So I've got some plastic bolts, got two of those. Uh, and I've all filled out the bag, so let's get rid of the bag. Let's, uh, Tell you what, I'll just do that. There we go. That's what we've got on that one. These look like spaces of some sort, so cut them different lengths. Another one. 
something else in there as well. Chuck it in. Oh, okay. Probably no point in keeping that because it's obviously a key to something. But I'll never know, so. A little brass washer as well. Oh, this one's quite full. What we've got, we have. Okay, we actually have a bag of PC screws, so I'm definitely keeping those ones separate. That I did not expect to find. A little L bracket. And in fact, looking at this, I'm not going to tip that in there. Uh, small hexagon keys, but there's a lot of small nuts and bolts in there. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to keep that one to one side for now. What have we got? A couple of bolts and some more big long screws. Nothing very interesting in that one. Next. That's another tray with some of those um, shelf rests or whatever they're called and some connector blocks there. Why you would put electrical connector blocks in with something you would put on a a bookcase or something is me. Next. So we have a clamp for something complete with the bolt but no nut. Another one of those. We saw one of those earlier. Yeah, that's what I mean by the clamp. That goes in there like that. And then it's a square hole. It's got a square neck on the bolt, so that just locks in like that. And then you'd uh, squeeze them together and put a nut on the other end. There's just a couple of um, tacks and a screw with a butterfly nut on it, or a wing nut. Right, next. What have we got in this one? We've got an old money bag, we don't need that. Uh, tube of glue, that's empty. I've got no idea what that is. Another dowel. But that's probably the most interesting thing in that one. <laughs> A wrench. Um, some brass nails. Oh, and another one of those weird hinged things without a pin in it. Hmm. Maybe that's what those other brass nails in there are for. Whoa! That disappeared. <laughs> okay, oh, hello. That one's quite weighty and that's got a switch in it. Oh! Oh, that's a smart one. So that's got S video on this one as well, and there's a switch for in, out. In, out. I don't know why that's got the switch like that. Oh, and it's labelled both sides, so it doesn't matter which way up you put it, it's got everything labelled. That is a nifty one. I haven't got one like that. I have now. And what have we got? A dinky little L bracket with some screws. Ooh, that's it. Screws again, nothing interesting in that one. Get quite boring. We have the remains of a scented candle. Trust me, it's a scented one. Uh, Battery canister for something, for some little um, batteries which are clearly dead. It's a button cell, what is it? Can't see the code on it, but that's what it's got in it, them little button cells. Looks like that should have three. I might keep hold of that little canister because. 
I think that's going to be quite handy with another one there. I will test the batteries just to get some shit some. Battery terminals there for something. That must have come out of something. Hmm, I wonder what that came out of. It was obviously a battery terminal because you got the you know, your boing spring there and a little contact for your little dimple part of your battery there. In other words, positive and negative. Chuck screws in there as well. We're not going to screw. The final. <laughs> really? More fuses. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do then. I'll pull a whole lot from that tray in there. Well, blue one is interesting. What's the blue one? Oh, it's a three amp. Allegedly. <laughs> right, in that case, I can shove this one back up there. Along with that one. Next, we have some old speaker wire with these connectors on. Look at that. And there seems to be a pair of them. I have got some old speakers, so I'm going to keep hold of those. Longer screws and some slightly smaller ones. Again for light switches, outlets, and whatnot. Uh, not sure what is look like some sort of plug for a wall. Uh, got some eyelets, screwing eyelet things. Ooh. Some very tiny washers. Whatever that is. I can see a nut, I can see this, I'm not sure what that is either. What I think of it. Right. The last tray. And I've been through the whole lot. It's the only one with a divider in it as well. So, that looks like a key of some sort, and there's two of those. We've got two of these adapters, you know, you had 3.5mm to, I think it's, is that 4 or 5mm? I can't remember. 5mm, I think. Keep hold of those, and pretty much it's some. Plastic doofies, a hook, and some washers, and that's it. That has had some super glue leak in this one. <laughs> there is a lid stuck in there. I thought it had when I saw that white residue on it. I thought that looked a bit like uh, some super glue has leaked. Well, I have to say, it must have been a good super glue because I can't get that lid off. So, I've now got some drawers to sort some more Lego into. bit of a shame, I only found that and that rechargeable one. Uh, oh, that one's the Asda barrier, that's not the rechargeable one, is it? It's this one. Ooh, this one's nickel metal hydride. 2100 milliamp hours. What's that one I'm curious? It does it say? No, it just says the standard charge rate is 120 milliamps for 14 to 16 hours. I do have a Uniros charger as well, I think. Is it Uniros? Yeah, I'm pretty certain it's Uniros. I 
We're going to that end. I'm not convinced that one's going to be any good, but we'll see. So, at the end of all that, I've got a box full of crap, basically. <laughs> a lot of this may end up in the bin anyway. I've just thrown it in here now until such time um, as to when I can sort it. State of my t-shirt. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you like this little video. It's something a bit different. And uh, I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye.